Today, we're heartbroken as we say goodbye to the iconic Days of Our Lives star, Drake Hogeston. He left a lasting impression on fans and his co-stars who've been sharing heartfelt tributes. Let's take a moment to look back at the incredible 70 years of Drake's life and career, remembering the moments that made him a soap legend. Hey everyone, welcome to Trend Street. If you've been a soap fan for a long time, then there's no way you haven't heard of the iconic Drake Hogeston. His journey started far from the bright lights of Hollywood, born in Fort Wayne, Indiana, with dreams of a Major League Baseball career. However, life had other plans. After an unfortunate injury ended his athletic dreams, Hogeston turned in a direction he never expected, acting. A talent search in Los Angeles opened doors, and before long, he was stepping into his very first role on Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. Little did he know, this was only the beginning of what would become a legendary career. But the moment that truly changed Hogeston's life and daytime television forever was when he landed his role on Days of Our Lives. Initially, his stint as Roman Brady, later revealed as John Black, was only supposed to last a few months. However, when his character was revealed to be Marlena's presumed dead husband, Roman, fans were hooked, and the showrunners knew they had something special. From the moment he stepped onto the NBC set on January 24, 1986, he captured fans' hearts. And what was meant to be a short stint turned into a nearly four-decade-long journey, with Hogeston becoming one of the most beloved figures in daytime TV. But sadly, we were hit with heartbreaking news that Hogeston passed away on September 28th, just one day before his 71st birthday. The actor, known for his endless charisma and warmth, passed away from pancreatic cancer after a long fight with the disease. His family released a statement remembering him as a devoted husband, father, papa, and actor. They described how he put up an unbelievable fight until the very end. Ken Corday, Days of Our Lives executive producer, was among the first to publicly pay tribute, describing Hogeston as the ultimate team player. He also said how Hogeston's impact on the show, both personally and professionally, will forever remain unmatched. Hoagie was a special soul, Corday said, clearly heartbroken by the loss. The loss spread quickly throughout the Days family, and Christopher Sean, who played John Black's son, Paul Narita, also took to his social media to share some last words for him. He wrote, You were more than just my TV father. In my eyes, you were my dad. Hogeston is now survived by his wife, Victoria, and their four children, Rachel, Ben, Whitney, and Alexandra, as well as his seven beloved grandchildren. While the shock of his passing hit the entire Days of Our Lives community hard, there was one co-star whose tributes stood out among the many, Stephen Nichols, who played his longtime friend Patch. Nichols and Hogeston had been a dynamic duo on the show since the 80s, with Steve and John sharing an unbreakable bond. To honor his friend, Nichols posted a touching video montage of himself and Hogeston, filled with laughter and memories from their early days scenes. Fans couldn't help but feel nostalgia seeing the two friends relive their glory days. Recently, Days even rewrote the character's history, deepening the connection between Steve and John even further. Whether they were working through dark secrets or fighting for the good guys, Steve and John's friendship on the show was rock solid. Nichols admitted that he always assumed the Black Patch duo would be around forever. But real life had other plans, and the news of Hogeston's passing shattered that assumption. In his Instagram tribute, Nichols shared the depth of his pain. My dear friend, Drake Hogeston, has passed, he began. He described the loss as overwhelming and reflected on the incredible person Hogeston was. Drake was a man's man with a huge heart. He was kind, respectful, and honest. I never heard him speak a negative word about anyone. Nichols explained that he considered Hogeston one of the most exceptional people he had ever known, like a mentor without even knowing it. They spent hours together in dressing rooms, talking about everything from life and family to baseball and Hollywood. Drake would tell me about his history, playing baseball, coming to Hollywood, getting into acting. He also shared triumphs and a few heartaches from his long career on Days, Nichols said. Those conversations weren't just about work. They built a friendship that transcended their roles on the show. One thing that stood out to Nichols was Hogeston's love for storytelling. 
whether in the studio or on the day's softball team, where he naturally shined as the star player, Hogeston had a knack for weaving together stories, often peppered with baseball metaphors. It was clear that his passion for the game remained with him even after his athletic career ended. Their bond was more than just professional. During tough times, Hogeston was a rock for Nichols. After Nichols lost his sister to cancer, Hogeston was there asking how he was doing every day and offering support. Nichols cherished their talks, noting how they shared so much about their families and life experiences. Even through his illness, Hogeston remained optimistic, telling Nichols, not much positive to report, but I still believe in Santa. As for his presence on set, Hogeston was known for his enthusiasm and commitment. He loved coming to work, often arriving early to hit the gym, where the sound of his stationary bike and weights clanging became familiar to everyone nearby. No one hit the stage with more commitment and enthusiasm than Drake, Nichols recalled, highlighting how Hogeston inspired everyone around him. Though John Black's final day scenes had already aired on September 9th, where he shared one last kiss with his longtime on-screen love, Deidre Hall, aka Marlene Evans, fans could still feel the void Hojestin left behind. The energy he brought to the set was irreplaceable, and the cast, crew, and fans felt his absence deeply. Just being in Drake's presence was enough to get a jolt of positivity, Nichols said. The love and respect Nichols had for Hojestin were clear as he closed his tribute. I'm at a loss without you, Drake. I'll miss your sweet smile, your greeting when I knocked on your door, your strong shoulder squeezes, and most of all, I'll miss sharing the stage with you. He expressed his deep admiration for the legacy Hogeston left behind, saying, you worked hard and left us a legacy of beautiful work. Rest easy, partner. Along with Nichols, James Reynolds, Martha Madison, Tamara Braun, Judy Evans, and many more also shared their condolences. Kate Mancy from General Hospital wrote that, heaven's not ready for story time, Drake. They don't know how good they're about to have it. Darren Brooks, Days and B&B alum, described Drake as a true gentleman, embodying kindness, gentleness, and warmth. He fondly recalled how welcoming Drake was on his very first day of acting, chatting about baseball and making him feel at ease. Thank you for that. I wish we got to play more on set. All our thoughts and prayers go out to the Hogeston family. R.I.P. in that great big baseball field in the sky, he wrote. John Lindstrom, who once played the role of Jack during COVID, also took to Instagram to share his thoughts and said how there was literally no one who had met him and didn't like him. Greg Vaughn, who portrays Eric on Days, said that Drake was never short of being a scene stealer, but always had an amazing way of making everyone feel loved, supported, and valued. And that, like John Black, only Drake could have orchestrated such a dramatic exit. Carson Boatman, who plays Johnny, honored Drake's legacy as Grandpa John on Instagram, adding, we're gonna miss your stories and your kindness. Swing for the fences. YNR star Eileen Davidson, who shared many scenes with Drake as Kristen, also felt the news of his passing hit her hard. When I heard the news about Drake Hogeston's passing, I felt kicked in the gut, Davidson said, adding, loved his family so much. Christy Clark, who played Drake's on-screen daughter, Carrie, reminisced about her unique bond with him. She said, to say I was one of the lucky ones is an understatement. Drake, AKA Hoagie, was simply one of the best people I've ever met. I was essentially raised by Drake on the set of Days. He was my TV dad, who became my second real father. Clark described how his positive energy and warmth touched everyone, noting that Drake radiated light and positivity. As fans, we mourn alongside them, knowing that we've lost not just an actor, but a man who touched the lives of so many. Rest in peace, Drake. Let's all share our thoughts and love for him and his family in the comments down below. Thank you for checking this video out. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on if you want to hear from us and comment down below if you've subscribed and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can.